Alright, good evening piano players. How you doing? Right, I got some kind of very Easter type nails going on or springtime because I want the warmer weather to come. I mean, yesterday it was like plus 10 degrees. It was awesome. But then today it's like minus 8, feels like minus 16. It was so cold. I had to like wear, when I came home from lunch, I had to put a sweater on. It's that cold. But anyways, there's nothing really I can do about it. But I'm just trying to, you know, hope my uh, spring nails will bring spring weather. And of course, they're all sparkly because who doesn't like sparkly nails? Anyways, uh, so getting on with it. I have, as you can see, with uh, The Great Hunt, I've read, I'm over halfway, did read a huge chunk, and it's great. And it's all about getting the the horn of valor, and Rand has it now, and you you kind of like find out that, uh, and that Tom the Gleeman is actually alive. Who was very, who let us, who was very interested that Rand was not traveling with Maureen the Aes Sedai, and that he, what else did he say? And that only the Dragon Reborn was able to really access. The, the horn and wanted it and was just very curious why Rand wanted it and they introduced some of the dark friends and some characters and the two girls are very they're you know like they're trained to be eyes to eyes so it was just I don't know it's great and great uh, second book I can't wait to get back to it but I don't know you need to practice some piano first uh, so I guess what are some other things? The, uh, hmm. Now, there is like a lot going on. That there's like a lot of people, you know, hunting after the horn and want the horn. And I guess Nyrene is getting tested to be an Aes Sedai, which is also very nice. It's just, yeah, so I guess that Perrin and Matt are behind Rand if, when it comes to the hunt. And that they decided that, so basically Rand and his group killed a bunch of Trollocs. And then the next chapter was Perrin and Matt. And they saw these like dead Trollocs and they're like, oh my gosh, like who did this? Like good that they're dead, but like, oh my goodness. And it's just kind of like weird to hear that you know because like, it's just the different levels that they're on thinking that like you know kind of like another group on the hunt couldn't have done this right it has to be somebody else and it's like they're all very inquisiting but anyways i am going to get back to some piano we're going to start with rewrite the stars from the greatest showman I don't think I've ever played this one. Oh my gosh. But I do... enjoy the book. I must say like the books are really like well paced. That they're like, they, like everything is moving like rather quickly. Like there's never like a dull moment. I mean like there are like some chapters that have like a lot of kind of like backstory. But there's always like a lot of action, things are always happening, and it's great.
Oh, that wasn't too bad. Pretty easy peasy. Yeah, it's crazy. Alright. And of course my tablet is all charged up and working. I never and I have uh, you know made it full screen instead of just a little screen uh, so I can make sure I can learn better or see the notes better. So this is part of um I guess we're gonna do a whole new world from Aladdin. See how this goes, never played it before. surprised me so easy so I would suggest people uh, reading the Wheel of Time series I can't wait for the second season to come out and really kind of compare the show to the book like more than what I already have so far, the TV show has just been like kind of vaguely on the first book. It's kind of nice. Sometimes I wish that my keyboard had a pedal so I can make some of the notes last longer. Maybe that's something I should Google to see if there is such a thing for this one. I assume so. I mean, I think it, I don't know if this is just kind of standard with keyboards now, but I can plug in my headphones. Right, so that way I can like say practice at night and early in the morning. Not bother anybody. I actually can't really hear like, the melody or tune in this one, so I kind of feel like I was just hitting notes and it wasn't that entertaining. I do apologize. Right. Hmm. Because of that, I think this is going to be my last one for the night, and it's Part of Your World. I have played Part of Your World before, but this is, I guess, uh, like a little slower, um, easier than the one I've played before, but we're just going to contrast it. I think if I'm going to play this uh, song again, I am going to try to play like the harder version because it's more intense and I can, for the most part, I can play that one. Still need to practice it, but this one does seem to work though. So I was thinking of doing like a bookshelf tour. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see my bookshelf for me to go through my books. You know, just you know, let me know what you think. Uh, if you'd like to see, if you'd like to see any of the other books that I have, and or just take a look at each. The, just look at the other uh, Wheel of Time books as well. I 
can hear the tune in this one a lot more than I could in the Aladdin one. I'm gonna call it there. Thanks all for tuning in. See y'all later, piano players. Bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to ring that bell icon for all notifications.